Hey guys, Monty here. I'm just sitting at camp by the fire because it sure is cold outside. And if you want to see how I made camp today, stick around. Hey guys, I'm out here with Monty today in the woods and we're going to go winter camping for two nights. I bet you're wondering why I got this big bag of crap with me. This is all food. Um, it's going to get down to single digits tomorrow night and I want to make sure this guy is warm. This is his first time winter camping. I've never brought him before, so I've got him a sleeping bag, his own sleeping bag, his own sleeping pad. I've got him clothing. I've got warm socks for him. I'm going to bundle this guy up if he gets cold at all. And I, this bag, as you can see, Super huge. This is not a cheap down bag. This is a military surplus extreme cold bag. So if he is in any way cold, I'm going to throw him in this bag and there's no possible way he can stay cold. He will warm right up. Right now we are trudging through a cedar swamp, which is pretty unfortunate. We got about a mile to go uh, north, northeast to get to the spot. I picked out a spot near a river or a stream, river stream, whatever. And uh, so we have a nice water supply, and we're going to build a big shelter and cook up some delicious food. But as I said, I've got a bunch of food. I plan on sharing everything with him. He's going to be eating good. He's going to be staying warm, and we're going to have some fun. So let's get going. Let me tell you, every good adventure starts by hiking a mile in the woods through a thick swamp. Holy crap. I think we might be out of the swamp now. Oh, I thought it was never going to end. <laughs> Poor Monty. Yes. Out of the cedar swamp. Ha 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 ha. trees. I think this is going to be our spot. Suitable spot. Out of that swamp at least. So first things first we got to get right to work. We have got to get a bunch of dead trees. We're going to build a big old lean-to today. I don't know how far we're going to get uh, as far as building the shelter goes. But we're going to attempt to build a big lean-to lay up some logs on it I'm um, gonna eventually try to get walls going and build a raised bed underneath and a big old fire reflector but we've got a lot of work to do so we gotta get straight into it and start cutting down some dead shit a little food and water huh maybe 
You want that? Probably not, hey? Alright. Stay there, Mikey. Oh, she's solid. She's super solid. Oh, she's a heavy one. Let's see her. It's easy. This is this camera. Nice and level. Well, looks pretty good. All right, so there's potential for Monty to get a little bit chilly while we're sitting around here, or while I'm dinking around getting logs. Cause he doesn't seem to be as enthusiastic about running around right now. So I brought him out an air mattress. What I'm gonna do is blow it up, since uh, this thing's pretty much waterproof, water resistant, whatever. It, the bottom side is not going to matter. I'm just going to blow it up for him, lay it down, give him a nice spot so he can lay down. He gets a little bit insulated from the ground if he just wants to chill. Alright, Monty. Whatever. He'll figure it out. Oh. Alright. I'm going to get my ridge pole tied up here. I'm going to lean to. Oops. There we go. So for tying my ridge pole here, I'm going to be doing what my dad calls the Detroit News Knot. So you're going to start with taking a loop here, and you're just going to wrap it through, just like that. And then you're going to take and make another loop right here. Do the same thing. You're just going to go through, go like that. Pull it tight. And then you're going to lift my reach pull up here. Use my body to hold it here. So what you're going to do is you go through the, the end loop here. You're gonna pull it tight, and then you're gonna hold it there, and then you're gonna go through the second loop. And you're gonna pull it extra tight. There we go. Really get her tight there. And then you're just gonna pinch your knot and tie her off. Yeah. Ah, luckily.
Luckily, I'm tall enough, though. But we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Okay. Well, that was my first time tying one of those. I'm going to have to get a little bit better at that, get a little bit more efficient. Uh, so now what I'm going to do is I am going to add some more strings and make this thing a lot more secure than it is currently. Monty's spirits are very high. These terrorizing sticks. She's good. She's good. All right. I'm going to clear off this stuff a little bit back here and we're going to start laying logs across. So I don't know if I already mentioned this, but this is my first lean to. So I'm going to take this first log here. This one's a little too thick, I think, to leave hanging up just in case these ropes fail. I don't want the whole thing falling on me. And if I do, I don't want a bunch of huge solid logs laying on me. So I'm just going to use this one here as a measuring device. Right off the bat, just to see where we're at. I could definitely use this log to build my bed, but let's see here. That looks about perfect. Make it that length. Make a bunch of them. Stack them. See where we're at. Not have been a tree fall. There's no way. You better go check it out. Go get it. Go get it, Monty. Go get it. So I'm gonna leave a little gap between the tree and the first log so that tomorrow I can build up a wall right here. I don't get to it today. I probably won't get to it today, but I'll build up a wall right here. And you know the logs will lay right there. So I don't want it, I want it to go on the outs. Basically, want it to go on the outside of this log, so I can't have it there. But you can see that ground's a little uneven. It's okay. We'll figure it out. Just, this log ain't gonna do. It's 
too mess, too messed up. Well, we've still got a ways to go. We need more trees. Just messing around, keeping him warm. A lot of work going into building these things. That's for sure. Okay, so I'm gonna. There's a bunch of crap and onion the ground. I'm just gonna take the back side of my axe here and kind of even out the ground because I'm not done with this lean to. Oops, it's taking me a little longer. You know, unexpected, of course. So, I don't want Monty sitting in uh, the snow. And since I've got a little bit of lean to started, I'm gonna have him sit under here. Just gonna even it out a little bit. This is some work. Tell you what, I got a bunch more wood. Got to cut her up and stack her. A lot slower going than I expected. Uh, she's gonna be. We're gonna get the the lean to part done today for sure. I'm gonna try to get the fire reflector up and maybe one wall. I just got Monty chilling, licking his, getting the snow out of his paws. Had him running around again. He's all warming up. But yeah, I'm gonna get this part done for sure. Maybe lay some stuff on here. There's a nice down tree back there with uh, evergreen branches to uh, throw on there. So, yep, I'm gonna cut this stuff up now and layer up on here and see see how close I am. I should be pretty close to done with this part. Okay, let's see where we're at. Lay some of this stuff up here. My fingers crossed. I'm hoping, hoping it's enough. Monty is just relaxing right now. I could go a few more logs over and uh, maybe I'll get there tomorrow, but I think that's plenty wide enough for me and Monty to set up our air mattresses just like that. I don't think I need to build it any wider, to be honest. That's pretty good. We'll sleep just fine like that. Solid log here. All right, so I've only got three hours of sunlight left. I think what I'm going to do is I am gonna scrap building the uh, raised bed today because we have air mattresses, so we should be fine sleeping on the ground. It'd be nice to be up on a level surface, but I can just level out the ground. What I'm gonna focus on now is getting some sidewalls because the wind is blowing this way and it'll blow right through us. So I wanna get some sidewalls up quick and then I'd like to get a little bit of stuff piled on the top of the lean-to to protect from wind and snow. Just just a little bit, just enough 
so that it, we're not just getting dumped on and the wind's not just blasting us. And then I need a fire reflector and some firewood. One more string up over there, and then I gotta work on Monty's side here. He needs a little, he needs a little protection too. Monty is just nestled up in that wool blanket right now. Oh, watch out for those ridge poles. <laughs> Ooh, new spindle of uh, paracord. Ooh, there's something just fun about starting one of these. Okay, I got two hours till the sun sets. I'm working on everything pretty much in rotations. You know, I've got, I got the back wall up. I've got partially the side walls up. I'd like to go a little bit higher on both sides. Uh, I haven't put up any stuff over the lean-to. So what I'm going to do right now is I am going to build a fire reflector and I'm going to get a fire going so that I can get a little bit of heat roasting for Monty and uh, you know collect firewood just to get that going. Make it a little bit warmer so he, when he's sitting here. I mean he's pretty good right now. He's wrapped under his blanket. He's a little bit out of the wind and, and I'll let the fire start burning up and there's some stuff over there I'm going to start laying over the top of the lean-to to, to uh, block from the wind and snow a little better. Let's 
start by tying these in here. This backlog. I don't want these slipping. After I get these secured here, it's time to work on firewood and get a fire going. I got lots of snow all over my stuff and it's getting late. I've been at this all day. I left, I got here right around sunrise and left the car right around sunrise. So it is firewood time. Oh yeah. So I'm just gonna cut a bunch of this up and then I'm gonna start splitting it. Little papery birch bark there. Found that on the way in. Make sure we put this under here. Get it all set up like that. She's about to topple over. No. Well, we got some stuff accomplished. I didn't get as much as I'd like to have done, but uh, you know, got to work with what you got. Uh, it takes it takes quite a while building this stuff. I was at it all day. I mean, it took me. <laughs> I don't even know what. I think I got here around noon. It took me quite a while to hike through that cedar swamp. It was like I started out and it was looking good, and then like went down a hill right away, and then it was just cedar swamp for <laughs> three quarters of a mile or more. <laughs> I think the cedar swamp just ends and it's just this clear cut because this is what I saw on Google Maps was this open These open trees. And I was like, all right, that looks like a nice spot And I did not think it was gonna be cedar swamp right till the end uh, That that river is right over there Just that way if I, I, I'll go look at that tomorrow uh, It's just right. There's a little hill goes back to cedar swamp and then it's the river, but uh, Yep, fire's going good Monty is eating a snack. I'm gonna put his uh, air mattress right here as I build up the coal bed. I'm gonna let him get nice and toasty. What do you think about all this winter camping, huh? He's like, I don't know, Dad. It's pretty cold. This is what we got so far. <sighs> I'm chopping all this up. It's gonna be nippy tonight. It's gonna be nippy tonight. I am going to want to put some stuff uh, in between the logs and stuff for the lean-to. And there was a nice downed, actually no, it's back this way. Come on, Monty. There was a nice downed pine tree. Had a bunch of branches. Looked pretty green right when I came in. So I'm going to go to that and grab a bunch of those branches and start laying them down on top. Yeah, see, there's the downed pine tree. It's a big pine tree, so I'm going to grab a bunch of this stuff and I'm going to lay this all over my shelter. There's this sort of laying it over the 
bigger gaps that I can see first. Just kind of stuffing it in, laying it on top. But I'm going to need quite a few more loads of this stuff. I'm just going to wedge in it, laying branches, sticks. Everything. I'm gonna just throw it on here. Oh! Right now I've got the hustle stuck in my head. We need more, 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 more. It's getting dark and I'm just like, oh, I need this. Oh. I'm working hard right now. Tell you what though, I think, I think this load is going to be enough for tonight. So that we don't get a bunch of snow on us. There is so much over there. It's like a down, big down tree, and it didn't look like much at first. I was like, oh, we'll see. And then when I started lifting it on the uh, pollen branch up, it, there's just so much underneath the snow. It's just loaded. I am definitely going to be hitting that up tomorrow. I'm going to cover the sides. I'll make this thing so. Wind and snow poop. It's gonna be epic. So there we go. That was this was called a last minute snow coverage. I still gotta chop a bunch of wood. Dawn till dusk. Working hard. I need to get the headlamp out now. Okay, as you can see, it's getting dark. It's getting dark fast. I did. I just did that. Just got that all up. I still got a bunch of stuff to do. I'm probably not going to record much of this. I got to cut up all this firewood here and uh, grab any little pieces around, stack it up so I can burn wood all night. Um, keep the fire going and kind of set up a little bit. So I'm just going to do all that. I apologize for not recording much of it. I'm going to get it done. I need to hustle because I want to relax after I get all that done. So I'm just going to get it done and I'll check back in with you when I'm ready to cook up some food and get on to the next stuff. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. Oh, that is what we call a wood pile, ladies and gentlemen. What do you think about all that, Monty? Oh, what do you think about that? I just accomplished something. <sighs> that was, uh, yeah, I think I have enough wood <laughs> tonight. I definitely, uh, you know, I brought out some Kiwana Brewing Company Pickaxe Blonde. That's my favorite craft beer. I'm gonna crack one open. I deserve a beer right now. At least I wanna think I do. So I only brought uh, one pan to cook with and the shape of this fire right now is not ideal for cooking with one flat pan. I 
But to tell you what I don't want to do is burn my fire reflector. Been there, done that. Oh. Ooh, this metal is chilly. Monty is uh, <laughs> real curious. Is it a Primus pan? I like it because it doesn't have moving parts. It just, uh, you can see it goes underneath and you squeeze it and it comes in. Oops, it, it, it came apart. And it just snaps in like that. Got yourself a pan right there. So we'll get her up here. Throw a little chunk of butter. bag of green beans there's no way I can cook pork chops in these green beans at the same time so we're gonna have ourselves and I ain't cutting these I ain't cutting them up I ain't cutting off the ends I don't care like that whatever it'll be fine I'm gonna eat it Monty's gonna eat it we're gonna enjoy it We've got a magical powder that we're going to add. I wonder what it could be. Could it be? No, it's not Montreal, is it? On vegetables? Really? Yep, on vegetables. Because why not? Ugh. Let's see here. Oops! Oh! Fallen soldier going back in. Now I gotta add a couple potatoes. So I brought six potatoes. Now these potatoes are gonna play a somewhat of an important role at night because at nighttime you kind of want to eat right before you go to bed. And that pl I plan on being that being the last thing I do at night because if you eat and you go to bed on a full stomach you heat yourself up because you're burning calories and shit at night so these potatoes are going to eat right right as we're going to bed and i'm going to give one to monty too we each get a potato for uh both dinners today and tomorrow and one for breakfast which we don't really need the potato for breakfast tomorrow but we're going to eat it it's going to be good monty do you think you like green beans? Not bad. What do you think? <laughs> and he likes them. Oh yeah, he likes our green beans. I don't even know if green beans are good for dogs. Call it good on these green beans. Nice and black and green beans. Ah, uh, there might be a few crunchy ones in there, but I don't care. Take each one. Let's slip it into there. I'm probably going to have to use a little extra butter for these guys. Yep, looks like it's going to be a pair of pork chops at a time. But I will add the breading to this bag here. Let's take a look here. Let's flip these guys. Oh yeah, they're going to they're going to get charred. That's for sure. Give him his portion of green beans on top of a little food. Here's Monty's. Go ahead, Monty. Get it. Get at it, buddy. 
Get at it. Go ahead. Go ahead, Monty. <laughs> What's your deal? Go ahead, Monty. Go ahead. Get, get him, Monty. Get him, Monty. Get it. Yeah, get those green beans, Monty. <laughs> you ever see a dog eat a green eat green beans while winter camping? I don't know. That's got to be far and few between. Good boy. Daddy wants green beans too now. I'm gonna keep removing this from this heat. Keep them off to the side. Those are gonna get real charred. All right, let's grab some green beans here. Hmm. Hmm. Oh well. All right. You know, I'm gonna go ahead and say it. I'm really sorry about my uh, nighttime recording. I know it's not ideal. It's not the best. I'm working on it. Practice makes perfect. And uh, I'm far from perfect on the nighttime recording. We're cooking over a fire, boys. Boys and girls. Ladies and gentlemen. They're going to be a little bit charred on the outside. Because I ain't eating undercooked pork. Neither is Monty. I mean, Monty could. Dogs can eat raw meat. He has no idea what's coming to him. Take a peek. Uh. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> Oh, she's done. Mmm. Oh, she's done. Cut Monty's up. Actually, I'm just going to put it in this bowl. Cut it up. Yeah, see. Monty is going to get his own pork chop right now. He didn't eat all his green beans. He will. Once they're covered in pork chop juice. Alright. Now we're going to let Monty's cool down a little bit. And we're going to take mine and I'm going to set it off to the side here because I'm going to eat mine with my hands. No shame. I think there's more in these. Oh my gosh. There's way more. <sighs> Time for some pure bliss right now. Let's see here. Oh, yeah. Tell you what that is, is hot. Hmm, that's so yummy. I'm a happy camper right now. Go ahead, Monty. <laughs> you eat them pork chops. Well, you should chew them, Monty. Try chewing them. Come on. You're going to make me chop them up smaller, huh? All right. <laughs> I don't know where that came from, but there's a ladybug right there. <laughs> what the heck is a ladybug doing out here? It's too cold for you. Go home. Well, I guess this could be your home. Fire's a little better for cooking now. It's cooking a lot slower. But I'll tell you what, it cools right down when that fire 
goes away. You're coming along, baby. Mm-hmm. He didn't get enough pork chops. <laughs> I got all my layers on now. I'm about to uh, let this thing rip. These little sticks. These leaves are drying out and they're lighting a little bit. So I'm going to have to scrape that out before I go to bed because I don't want my fire reflector to burn, nor do I want my shelter to burn. So yeah, I'm going to scrape that a little bit for bed, but uh, fire's going to get going here. Pork chops are about done. It's all coming together so nicely. Do you guys think I do too much food recording? Like, the recording around where you're eating? Oh, I don't think I do. I think food's like the best part about camping. Oh, she's done. Let me just check right here, this corner. Oh, she's so done. And the thing is, is like, like, okay, if I were cooking this at home, and I were cooking pork chops, and this is what it came out like, it was just black, I'd be like, oh man, I burnt them. That sucks, like, oh, they're gonna be burnt now. I'm out here, I'm just like, ugh. Perfect, perfect. As long as it's cooked, that's how it works, though. So. All right. Look at this guy. Just creeping in on my pork chops. No. You have got your share. I'm not going to let the little staring at my soul trick work today. <laughs> There's something about Monty. <laughs> Being zipped up in a sleeping bag <laughs> that warms my soul. Oh my god, Monty, how you doing? He's just like, uh, well, it's toasty in here. <laughs> good boy. That's a good boy. All right, Monty's just tucked away. He's sticking his nose out for now, but he'll he'll tuck it away a little bit. I'm getting all tucked into bed, I'm getting nippy out of my sleeping bag. Got my thermals on, logs on the fire, everything's under the, the uh, shelter here. So, it is time to go to bed. Good day today. Had fun, did a lot of work, and uh, there's more to do tomorrow, so we will catch you in the morning. Good night. Good morning, Monty. Morning. <laughs> Did you sleep warm, pal? Monty had to adjust. Let's see, every two, three hours, he, like, wanted to stand up and just turn around. That's really it. Otherwise, he stayed in his sleeping bag and just snuggled up. He was... <laughs> His face was not sticking out most of the night. But she's a chilly little morning here. Now I need to get up. Put my warm stuff on. <coughs> right, Monty? You want some breakfast? Should we get a breakfast? Alright, let's do this. Hey, Monty. Are your spirits high? Yeah, he's happy. Good boy, my dear. Are we going to eat some treats this morning? Are you going to eat some bacon? Are you going to eat some bacon? So here's what we got going on. We got a Monty. It's all full energy. I put up a few little pieces here. She definitely protected us from a little snow last night. Probably add a little bit more. I might not even uh, build up the walls. I might just grab more branches and just stuff them in like that. And fill all these little holes and stuff. But we were, I was pretty toasty. I know he was pretty toasty. 
Uh, he was not shivering at all. He did good. He just wanted to adjust a few times. I got up roughly every two hours and added a few logs to the fire. Burned through a lot of that wood. So I'm definitely going to need a lot more firewood. But, uh, yeah. First, we're going to start off with some bacon, eggs, and potatoes for breakfast this morning. I need to get some more water. We're pretty much out of water. Monty keeps making me pour him water. He'll lick the snow. And then he doesn't want it when I pour water because it's too cold. Oh, yeah. Nice little river. So this particular collapsible bucket is not too strong in the uh, standing up department. So it's important you have a little log that it sits on so that your water doesn't spill out everywhere. some dirt in my coffee. My pan from last night, I didn't clean it. I do the same thing at home. Uh, <laughs> save my dishes for the next morning. <laughs> Drives funk nuts. Got a little pork chop green bean butterness in there. Why don't you eat your food and not sticks? 13 pieces of bacon. It's going to be a challenge cooking in that pan like that. <laughs> That's okay. Got to get out our breakfast potatoes. Keep us satiated all day. Oh, that fire is hot. Oh. He's so enthusiastic about getting stick in the morning. Bacon is done. Oh yeah. Yep, yep, yep. So I'm gonna give Monty his breakfast. He's gonna get a few pieces of bacon here. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of grease in his food. Just to add some flavor and for the boy. He's earned it. He's earned a little bit of bacon grease. Alright, get him, Monty. Go ahead. Get him, Monty. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's happiness right there. It's a real dog eating real bacon in the real woods. A little crispity. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, there was a lot of black in the pan from the bacon, so I just kind of scraped it with my spatch as best I could. Then I'm going to take no. Take the snow here. Just kind of wipe it up like that. And, you know, it's clean enough. 
definitely clean enough for eggs. Let's see if they're frozen or not. Oh, nice. Oh, shit. 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 <sighs> It is now one with the egg. Let's go for a one-handed crack. Boom, one-handed. One-handed. And there's shell. This little metal spatula. Let's see. Oh, I broke it a little bit. Uh, this, this is not the best pan for this. No, no. Oh, it's just... <laughs> there you go. Perfectly cooked over easy eggs over a fire. <laughs> Uncooked joke in there, really. I'm going to probably grab more of this green stuff and uh, build up my walls a little bit. Maybe dangle a little bit over the edge here, wedge it in between my logs. And uh, so it'll it'll block a little bit from the, the snow. And i got to get a bunch of firewood. I don't know if I'm going to build any raised bed or anything. I mean, we slept fine. We were both warm. I thought we were might be going to be a little bit chilly off the ground, but those air mattresses did fine with our bags. They're not made for winter camping, but they work fine. And since, you know, I brought them out here, we might as well just utilize them. So that'll be a little less work for me today. And then, uh, yeah, we'll probably walk around, keep his body temp up, so maybe do a little walking. I definitely got to get a bunch of firewood, so that's, that's pretty much the tasks for the day. And then we're going to cook chili tonight. Not chili for dinner. Got a pound of beef. I got a whole onion, some garlic. I got a whole thing of spices. I, uh, I'm just going to simmer that for an hour or so. And then I brought out, a, I don't know if you noticed in my bag, I had a piece of bread, a nice piece of bread. So I'm going to have chili and bread. And I'll mix, I'll give Monty some chili too. You're going to be eating good. You're eating good. Yeah, see, it's all under that snow. Make a nice big pile. It's not the biggest load. My tree's about tapped out. I uh, I was digging around the snow. I couldn't really find much more. So what if we make do with this? So here she is. The shelter's pretty much finalized. I mean, I could tie all this stuff down, but uh, it's fine. Wind's not blowing crazy. I mean, if it were to blow real hard. Some of this stuff would fall off probably a little bit. The pine needles, I've just got them wedged. Some of them are pretty light, but she's pretty good. Pretty satisfied with how she turned out. First lean to right here. First ridge pull to. So, so far she's good. We are going to leave camp behind. We're going to do a little wake. What? <laughs> walk, not wake. What the heck? Where did that come from? Oh, it's, that's a walk mixed with hike. That's what that is, wike. Anyways, yeah, we're just gonna go, I'm just gonna walk up to this here uh, river since it's not uh, swamp down there. We're just gonna hike along that, check it out a little bit. This way I don't have to keep throwing the stick for Monty. We can just go on a walk, we'll both stay warm. And it's nice and snowy. I'm curious to see 
how much snow accumulates on my sleeping pad while we're gone. So peaceful, Monty. Steer tracks. This is winter wonderland out here right now. We've been hiking for a good 45 minutes and uh, we're getting away from the river. There's this like swamp marsh coming out and it's, we walked back there a ways and it's just like so many down trees and whatnot. So we're just gonna turn around, go back to where we started and go the opposite way up the river. The duck sauce. Oh, sorry, ducks. Monty, we scared him. We've been hiking for an hour and a half to two hours. Just walking along this river back and forth. It's pretty cool. It's pretty peaceful, slow moving. Um, but we're gonna get heading back. Gotta cut up some firewood, and then I gotta prepare chili and simmer that for an hour or two. So, not a whole lot of work today, but yeah, we're gonna get walking back now. Oh yeah, I have potatoes. Oh, hey, a little snow got in there, but better than nothing. We got a nice dead one right here. I'll just chop this guy up and drag him back to camp. Okay. Oh, there's a better tree over there. It is time to collect some firewood. We cut logs. Hey Monty, <laughs> sorry to wake you. Failure. Oh, 
Oh, gold, gold darn it, Bobby. to start chili well I'm not gonna start it yet but it's gonna be a minute so I've got beef oh it's not frozen nice it's because I've been keeping the bag near the fire the ground beef this is tomato sauce with a little bit of paste put in there I didn't want to bring out a whole can of it you know I just brought just what I need so let that start getting a little warmed up what else do I got in here well, these are frozen. These are frozen. This is uh, black beans and kidney beans. These are frozen solid. So I need to set these a little closer to the fire. Let those get a little warmer so I set on bottom. I brought out also a French baguette, which has got dirt all over it and snow, and it's frozen. I'll, uh, I'll warm that up later. Now that'll just sit in there. Some of chili and bread. And then I got the spices. So, oh, actually, whoop. I got an onion and some garlic that I'm going to add to. Forgot about that. Mm. Boiling some water quick to make a cup of green tea. A little bit chilly. I just put on all my layers. Tonight I'm going to wear them all. I don't got any more work to do. Mm, just a relaxing evening. Last night was a hustle. Well, we got about 20 more minutes till the sunset starts to get dark. Alright. Yeah, so I'm just going to make some tea. And then we're going to get cooking chili. Now I got fatty ground beef because fat satiates you longer. So... When I'm out here and it's cold, I kind of want more higher fat content to stay warmer. I want to get back. Get back! Please, oh no, I was just going to say, please don't make a big mess, little, uh, wood, I'll cut, I'll cut gentler, this isn't working out, it's just going in like this, need some garlic cloves, so I was going to cook the chili in this pot, but you know, now that I'm looking at it, this one looks like it's going to have a little bit more room and it'll be easier to cook in. Now it's not, it doesn't have a lid so it won't be as good for simmering for an hour, but if I'm careful, I think this one will work out just fine. I'm not going to do this very fine. We're just going to have big old chunks of garlic because I don't want to lose much garlic in this, uh, this isn't the best veggie cutting knife. Alright, so I've decided for now I'm going to try cooking it in this pan until it looks like a bad idea. So let's see what happens. We're going to add the beans. That's not all the beans, I just want to see how much room we got. This is a this here is a mixture of cayenne, chili powder, cumin, uh, paprika, salt, pepper. Just a little whipped up chili mix. 
So we'll add a decent chunk of it. I think I needed more tomato sauce, possibly. It's okay, I'm gonna add water. Probably gonna add a little bit of beer. Since I got it out here. Now we just gotta cook her down. Let it simmer. Yeah, that should be pretty good right there. So I got this metal grate here, and this thing works pretty good. I like this thing. I don't know what in the hell brand it is or anything like that, but uh, I like it, and I'd like to get a second one, but I don't know what it is. So if anyone out there knows, let me, let me know, because I want another one, a backup one. Oh yeah, she's simmering perfectly. Oh, she's gonna be good. She's gonna be good. She's gonna be some good campfire chili and you are gonna get your fair share. I don't know how dogs are with chili, but we're gonna find out. She's been simmering for like 15 minutes, so we're just gonna do a little flavor check. Mm. Do I even need to wait? Mm, I better wait. I gotta wait. Oh, it's so good already. That's good. Damn. Damn, Monty. Damn. 15 minutes remain. Oh, look at that, though. Just look at that. This is gonna be some stick to your ribs kind of food. Some hearty, hearty eating out here. So our chili has been simmering for one hour exactly. Because I know because I've been counting the minutes. <laughs> so the consistency is pretty damn good. Let's just uh, add on my frozen... there my frozen wet bread I'm gonna dry that out a little bit I'm just gonna let that heat up for just a minute and we're gonna eat some chili <laughs> it looks so good yes yes here's Monty's bowl of dog food mixed with chili he is going to love this you know what, actually, though? Ah, shoot. I think he deserves a little bit more chili. Alright. Monty, go ahead, get your treat. Ooh, it's hot, huh? <laughs> he doesn't even know what to do. He's like, that is, that is a big bowl of food, Dad. See, it's hot. I'm gonna have to wait. This is torture, Dad. Going back in. I'm going. You'll get it. You'll get it. He wants it, though. He just needs to let it cool off. <laughs> He's just like me. You eat it when it's too hot and you can't help yourself. <laughs> Alright, it's chilly time for me. Mm, it's good. It's hot. It's real hot. Mmm. Alright. Let's add a little bit of this right here. I'm just gonna dip it in like a beast. Mmm. Oh yeah. Mmm. <laughs> Pretty glad I brought the bread. That 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 makes it. Yeah. Hmm. Need more bread though. Hmm. All right, this was a success. I wasn't sure how. 
campfire chili was going to be, uh, if it was going to be a pain in the ass, you know, blah, 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 but it's delicious. I will do this again in the future. Ha. All right. I'm going to destroy this. Monty is over there destroying his. And uh, we'll check back in with you after we're done with this. Oh, man. I'm stuffed. But it's okay. My plan was to have eggs and chili tomorrow for breakfast. So I'm going to leave this in this pan and let it freeze tonight and reheat it in the morning. He's such a good dog. He'll get up and move six times tonight. Every every time I do the fire, it's it's usually... It's funny because actually, like... I'll mess with the fire and go back to bed and then like 10 minutes later he'll just stand up and I know that I just open the sleeping bag uh, lay it out he just spins around lays back down zip it back up all he wants to do is adjust so he's doing it right now he wants to come out a little bit come here Monty come here come here Monty <laughs> He's in there a little deeper than normal. <laughs> but we'll be alright. So we're going to get going to bed. Catch you in the morning. Good morning, Monty. <laughs> Monty. Good morning, Monty. <laughs> Did you sleep good? He's like, I don't want to get up, Dad. <laughs> oh. <sighs> good morning. It was windy and chilly last night. Keep that fire going, though. Oh, it is time to get up. It's my least favorite part is getting out of my sleep bag. And get all my layers on. But I gotta do it. Let's do it. What do you think about your first winter camping experience, huh? Alright. I'm gonna go collect some water from the uh, river down there and get to cooking breakfast. Make some coffee. She's a hot, hot coal bed today. Toasting. So, I discovered a little drawback to eating campfire chili out in the woods. And that is farting. There's a lot of beans in there. Let's just say I'm a fart roasted Matthew. Just sealed up my sleeping bag, staying warm and getting extra warm. All night long. Oh. I wonder if the same goes for Monty. Here's my super frozen chili that I just left in there last night. Maybe I should use my grate. Here's my super frozen chili. Oh yeah, <coughs> my eggs burst open. They are frozen. They're frozen eggs. Our chilies. I had a little bit of water to it, but uh, let's see how these eggs look. Oh no. frozen solid so these are gonna have to sit out damn oh Jesus no no I got grounds in my coffee oh well 
All right. So by the time we get these eggs in here, they should be good enough. Oh yeah. There we go. Frozen egg coming in. these out. Let's just uh, try, try to over easy these ones. Oh, just eggs and chili all mixed together. It's not going to be the prettiest thing, but hey, I'm sure it's going to taste good. Second, chili and eggs. Here we go. Tastes like chili, definitely. It's like consistency of eggs. It's good. I'm gonna clean this pan up. Cold hands, cold hands. There we go, pretty clean, pretty clean. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's about that time. I had a good first experience with Monty here on his first winter camping trip. First lean-to build, first ridge full tie. I had a good time, but I ate all my food, so all there's left to do now is pack up, let this fire burn down a little bit, put her out cold, and then uh, head back to the car. Uh, if you like the video, hit the like button. If you want to see more stuff like this, hit the subscribe button. But I will see you guys in the next video. Maybe Monty will be there too.